Okay, uh, students, I'm just going to make a video here about the USB Crow that comes with uh, digital kits and circuit analysis kits. So here's a USB Crow. Uh, open it up, and inside we've got the uh, USB lead. This end goes to the computer, and this end goes into the back of the USB Crow. Um, there'll be some information in here. And we've got the USB Crow itself, Stingray, it's called a Stingray one. Uh, and there's a, uh, a CD that comes with it, it's an original CD, and it has the uh, drivers on it. Now, I recommend that you, for your software, you use the, uh, the Kit CD. Here's an example of a Kit CD. It may not be blue, it might be white or whatever, it'll have Kit CD written on it. So you just pop that into your CD drive of your uh, computer. Pull this stuff away. Uh, you can plug this. Okay, so that CD is popped in. Open the folder. And uh, there's a folder, USB Crow software. So someone on disk, you'll find USB Crow software. Every one of them is laid a little bit differently. Over the years, I've changed the format, but this folder will, should be there. Um, just to open that full size. So you run easycd.exe. Now, if you're using Windows XP, that's all you have to do after you've run this. It should work fine. Um, it may challenge you about the certificate. It may, it may say, oh, this has been an unverified certificate. Just select, it's OK. Yes, go ahead, accept that certificate. Everything will be fine. If you're using Windows 7, you'll have to later go into this folder here to get the drivers, the Windows 7 drivers for the Stingray USB Crow. So let's just start first things first. I'm, incidentally, I'm using Windows 7, so that's what I'll have to do. Run it. Uh, it's the first item, DS, DS1M12 Stingray USB 2 channel oscilloscope. Okay, so this window pops up. Now there's two applications that you could install, but you only want to really install the first one, the oscilloscope application. Uh, some students doing research also want to include the data logger application where it will record uh, data that you're measuring. Um, so I just want to use this one. Uh, I agree. Next. Next. Finish. And I'll, I'll actually include the other one too. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Finish. So you can exit from there. Um, just reduce that window for a second. You just remember where that folder is on that drive, CD drive. Um, now we will go to uh, plug plug in the USB Crow. So I just plug that in into the computer. USB port. And the other end goes into the back of the USB Crow. and wait to see what Windows does. So, I plugged it in and Windows saying installing driver software click here for status. Now Windows won't actually know where those drivers are. It says it's searching Windows Update. Um, it's probably going to fail. So you can let it run for a while, but there's not really any point. Um, so you can skip that. Oh. Well, it's actually identifying it. Oh, no driver found. Okay, so now what we do is we go to Control Panel 
and device manager and here's your two devices uh, which is the crow and the data logger in all in one package oh. so go update driver software browse computer and you go to your CD should be on computer CD USB Crow software latest drivers and OK next so it's found the driver for that close and do it for the next one update driver software uh, yeah it'll it's remembered that same folder so you go next and then close so now you can see that it's found those two items and they're under USB drive so you can close that one close that one and you close that one now you can start the program your easy scope now just to show the camera view and you can see as soon as you start that up you get these LEDs shining on there so you know that it's working now that's a pretty good indication go back to your application and you can just uh, just run to get those traces up and you can see the two traces there purple one and the yellow one and and that's it in terms of installing the software for the USB Crow